Rosie Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we are heading out of Spike Myth, which we went into last episode, and we're able to defeat the Dark Gym Leader. I don't know if going through this way is any different than the way we went, uh, because, no, it's the same exact thing as before. There are people in here now, and also at the end of the episode, there was a huge explosion. Lee went to go see what it was. We're gonna go follow him in a moment. I'm a huge fan of Piers. I really fancy seeing him in more matches. Yeah, that would be cool. At the end of the day, this place is this place be more likely, more lively if there were more gym challengers. Well, now there are. Welcome to the town of Spike Month. Yeah, we've already read about that. Even a rundown place like this is important for the people, Pokemon who live here. Yep. So besides that, there doesn't seem to be too much new stuff. Uh, everybody's the same. I do want to heal, just because that's a good idea to do, since that gym that we just went against was pretty challenging, especially with no Dynamaxing in it. Okay. So, let's move out of here, and we are going to go to the left and just sort of go into the tunnel. I think it's the tunnel that bridges this route with Route 7. We couldn't go in from the left. There were people blocking it off, but maybe now if we try, that big <laughs> the big jellyfish is chasing me, I don't like it. Uh, maybe now if we try from the right side, we'll see what's going on with the big explosions. What's this? The earth is shaking. Maybe if I try to sway in the same way. Nope, not helping. You think you'd be trained to know what what to do during these situations? Uh, that cape with all the logos was it was the champion running by? This lady is very tall. I hope everything is okay in Hammerlock. Me too. Uh, uh what was with all that crazy shake on shaking, Leon? Um, why is there a Dynamax Pokemon here? Oh, I know the Geoglyph. This is a replica of the Geoglyph on the hill. Oh, is it? Uh, what is this red light? I can't even see what we're talking about. Can I get by you guys or no? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the champion and Charizard are superheroes. What's going on? Pass through the Route 9 tunnel and make your way back to Hammerlock. Oh, there's Hop, <laughs> surrounded by Pokemon. Zebra! This is mad, you know what I mean? Uh, what was that loud noise? That's what I'd like to know, that noise, it was like some massive explosion. There was this huge surge of red light and then wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me. Around me, brazen as you like. So like everybody's just Dynamaxing then. Just like with the explosion before. Take a look at the news. Whoa. See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? So I guess a Dynamax Pokemon was on the bridge for some reason. Lee and his Charizard took down the, that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. I knew Lee was strong, but th this, Really makes you appreciate how great he is, huh? Let's go meet up with him, Zebra. He should be at Hammerlock Stadium. All right, we'll go and catch up then. Very interesting happenstance so far. So we're supposed to be going to Hammerlock and going against the gym leader. Uh, hi, but I guess we have battle set up now. I acknowledge your strength. Please indulge me in a contest of strength and wits. All right, sure, let's see how this goes. Going against Gentleman Caden. He indeed looks like quite the gentleman. He's sitting on do Doe Blade. Wow, look at this thing. I don't know what this really is, but we'll try fighting against it. It might be steel. That's my guess. Uh, we'll try double kick. Come on. That doesn't affect double or dual Doe Blade. Uh, then we'll just try flame charge. Will that affect you? That will indeed affect you. Not only that, but it's super effective. So what kind of thing is not at all affected by fighting types? I'm not sure. Um, ghost. Okay, so you're a ghost type. All right, <laughs> well now we know. So there's double aid de defeated. Is it double aid, maybe? It's supposed to be double and blade combined into one, but it's like, the pronunciation's a little weird. Anyways, there's that done. And now we got Passimian. I don't know Passimian either. Maybe I should. There's just too many names. I'm not good with names. You look like you'd be an evolution of Grookey, but you're not. All right, we'll just do Flame Charge again. That was not super effective. A little surprised by that. You look like very grass-like. Bulk up, whoa, whoa. Okay, I can try Double Kick, but I don't think it's gonna do very well. No, not run. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. <laughs> It'd be so funny if I did. Okay, try double kick. Yeah, not much. Had to try though. 
So they're doing double edge. Oh man, that was bad, but it also hurt them. So let's just quickly, I know Dot really wants to be petted, poor Dot. Let's just go ahead and finish him off with a flame charge, please. Thank you. And Passimian will faint. He, swips, he sort of slips on his melon there. And level 49 for Tom, very exciting. He's almost at level, level 50, the only one who hasn't gotten there. Poltegeist. I'm guessing this is a ghost type. If that's the case, we should probably just uh, switch to Biggie because he's go he's dark, which is good against ghosts. Okay. So come on, Biggie. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's his little teapot. I forgot about that. Yeah, Paul T. Geist. There's just too many names. It's very easy for me to forget them all. Um. Okay, we'll try this. I don't know if it'll work out all that well, but foul play it is. Nice, okay, took you out. And that should be your last one, right? This gentleman put up a tough fight. And there we go. Ah, see, exactly as I had thought. $8,800 for winning, and I'll start to you again. To live without making enemies, that is the way of a gentleman. Well, you haven't made an enemy out of me. My brilliant little Ragnar is the best. She gives me berries that she found when we can't together. Do you Pokemon do that? I don't know if they have. I guess it must be proof of how friendly she feels towards me. My Pokemon are all so very sweet and such good friends, you should come play with them too. I would love to. See how it's going in our camp, and we'll all play together. We'll give everybody pets and love and everything. Starting with Dot. Hi Dot, oh my gosh, all you have are like Meowths and stuff. So I only have one Pokemon out here. Okay, well hi Dot. Can I not interact with you? There we go, Dot looks like she's enjoying camping. Tired and hungry. More attention. Okay, tired and hungry. Well, we can definitely, we can definitely give you some food. Uh, No, don't leave. Let's, let's have a toy. I'll play with you too, but I'm mostly focused on Dot here. There we go, thanks for kicking it. Uh, change toys, you weren't able to get the ball before because other people would run after it. So let's see if you can't get it this time. Oh no, that's not true, sometimes you would get it. All right, thank you, good job. So now that we've done that, let's go to cooking. And I wanna cook. Yep, start cooking with Renee. And I don't think we have anything fancy, so we'll just do two Ia Papa berries, two apricot, or oh, there we go. Aguav, basically everything. <laughs> well, maybe not everything. Maybe I should only do half of my stuff because I need to save some stuff for later. There we go. Um, okay. Now, I'm ready. So with this, hopefully with the other people, I think there's two other people we're cooking with here. Maybe, there's some berries, and some more, and is that it? Nope, there's even more, awesome. This is gonna be a very tasty thing. Oh, is that carrots? I think so. All right, fan the flames, I'm trying. Oh, I can move the camera around too, <laughs> make it very shaky. It's getting there. <laughs> that Meowth is very happy. Oh boy, is it too hot? I guess so. Oh well, uh, start spinning. Okay, almost there, right? Everybody else has to put some more work in. I'm spinning it like twice as fast as everybody else. Okay, and... How is that? Not bad, I guess. Oh boy, here we go. Done. So what is our rating for this one? Everybody's running in. Sour salad curry, huh, that's different. Oh. It's delicious, yay! <laughs> Good job. And, oh, that's actually a silver one. Uh, Kaparaja class, cool. So everybody's gonna get healed up from that. Um, I would like to leave the camp now. Hopefully everybody was happy though. Nice, there's a level up for Dot and Shawnee. Very cool. And there we go, we got the camp. That's always fun. 
Who else might we be able to go against on our way back? Not really sure if there'll be anybody else. Yeah, we've already battled all these people. So I guess that was it. <laughs> just a little bit of a detour. Um, but yeah, we're just heading back now. Don't know where the if there's any more explosions or anything to react to. I guess not. Lee seems to have handled it. So I guess we're just going in the hammerlock now and battling this this trainer. I, I will go and heal just in case. Actually, no, I don't need to. Yeah, yeah, I, I might, I might, from the battles. <laughs> uh, at the least, we need to restore probably some of the PP. So there we go. And also, before we battle, I do want to take a look at dragon types. What are dragon types weak to? Dragon types are weak to ice, dragon, and fairy. But they're also only super effective against dragon. The thing is, is that they're not very effective. Like, fire, water, and electric, and grass aren't very effective against it. So we need something that's like just neutral and to go all in with those neutral things. So, uh, taking a look at my TMs is what I want to start doing right now. Um, just to prepare for this, because I think it's gonna be a really tough battle no matter what. So, if we go to our bag, and then over this way, we have things like TM. So we have normal type moves, which can be good. We, let's just look at the ones we can actually learn. Like, we have focus energy, the user takes a deep breath and focuses so that the critical hits land more easily. Don't know if I need that one. Biggie can learn beat up. The user gets, oh yeah, we've already seen that one before. Um, Tom can learn rock blast. The user hurls rocks at the target, two to five rock launch. Rocks are launched in a row. I'm sort of looking more for uh, ground type down. Scary face. Um, everybody can learn attract. Whirlpool, I already knows it, okay. Uh, retaliate, the user gets revenge for a fainted ally. Sand tomb is a ground type, okay. Uh, the user traps the target inside of a harshly raging sandstorm for four to five turns. That could be good, I'm gonna consider that one. Um, Smoky and Tom can learn Poison Jab. The target is stabbed with a tentacle arm or the like. Yeah, we've we've seen that before. Uh, facade. Charm is the fairy type one move that Jazzy can learn. The user gazes at the target rather charmingly to make it less wary, okay. Steel, of course, uh, Shawnee can learn this. Yeah, well, we already have that. <laughs> she already knows it, yeah, okay. There's Dig, which is a ground type. I think we might wanna go for this one and put it over the rock move. So. Go over to Tom, put it with the TM. Either that or put it over Protect. Like maybe just Protect isn't gonna work out for me. So we'll do that for now. Because that is something I can go back and relearn if I needed to. Okay, so now he knows Dig. I'm glad for that. Um, there's Flying. That does 90 damage. Is that better than, let me, let me see. Uh, this is what, 120 damage and 80 damage. Okay. But the accuracy for this is 100, this is 95. So we could put over Hone Claws. I don't think that's worth it though. Um, I mean, it could be if we do Hone Claws and then Drill Pack, or Hone Claws and then Fly, because it ups its accuracy. I just really don't know if that's worth it. Hmm, I don't really know. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it matters too much for the moment. Anyways, let's check out some other stuff. We have Hex here, which Smokey can learn. This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. Okay. That's worth considering. There's Snore, there's U-Turn, which is a bug type move. Revenge, which is a fighting type move. This attack move's power is doubled if the user has been hurt by the opponent in the same turn. It's 60 damage. I want to see how much damage is Dot's double kick. It's 30. So actually, that'll do about 60 damage as well. So let's try revenge then, because it's at minimum 60 damage, as far as I understand how this is explained. Um, and if if not, it might be more. And we have rest, which is psychic. Everybody can learn that. Draining kiss is fairy. Nobody can learn that one. Smart Strike is Steel. Uh, fake Tears. Icy Wind. Yeah, nobody can learn these ice type moves, unfortunately. Dive. Uh, diving on the first turn, the user floats up and attacks on the next turn. That'll do 80 damage. Let me compare that to what we have. I, I know this is taking a while, but it's worth doing now because 
the rough is only gonna get rougher, you know? It, it's getting more and more difficult, and now's the time to really look into it. So we had liquidation, which is 85, and ours move here is 80. So I don't know if that's worth changing around for. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take a pass on that. That's fine. Uh, there's Snarl, and that's our last one. Okay, so not as much as I was expecting. That's fine. So with all of that out of the way, I guess we're just gonna go and do the battle at Hammerlock. I'm a little bit worried about this. Like, will this turn out well at all? I don't know, we should also check held items. I need to give more held items to my Pokemon. So we're gonna do that before the gym battle as well. Uh, just really make sure everything is as good off. Cause I'm really afraid of dragon types. Oh, hey, everybody's here. Over here. Well, if it isn't Zebra, I'd expect nothing less from you and your Charizard Leon, or Charizard Leon. Uh, you took down that Dynamax Pokemon in no time at all. Well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what all is going on here? An overflowing red light, Pokemon Dynamaxing without a power spot? Yeah, but why? I'm not sure, what's going on? The red light could suddenly appear again anytime and we'd have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Oh, it's Magnolia again, hi. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything that to that executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonia. You know more than anyone about the darkest day, after all. Are you saying that the red light and the darkest day are connected? They might be. Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Uh, there must be. Thanks, I appreciate the thought. But all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, course. You're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Grand, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. All right, well, they're off. Looks like we all know what we need to do, so you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. Oh man, I can't believe it. You know what I need to do, all right? Defeat the peer that peers once and for all. You're off to Hammerlock Stadium, yes, Zebra? Raihan's a tough nut to crack. I'm a little nervous about it but we don't have anything else to do except for put some more held items on our Pokemon and go and deal with it. Okay, so yeah, let's do that right now. If we go to our bag, and then held items are where? Battle items, yeah, so these things. We could put like Dire Hits, X Special Defenses and stuff, but then there's also, what, like the Silk Scarf, Strawberry Sweet, what are these things? And maybe we could use some of these candies. I haven't done that yet. So we have Dynamax candy, candy that is packed with energy. When it's consumed, it will raise the Dynamax level of a single Pokemon by one. What is the Dynamax level? Higher HP when Dynamax, okay. Well, when held or when consumed? Okay, so I'll give this to Dot, just one. And I'll give one to Jazzy. I'll give one to, I think, Shawnee. I think it's gonna be the fairest balance. Um, we also have Strawberry Sweet. A strawberry Shaped Sweet, when a Milstreet holds this, it will spin around happily. Okay, um, Silk Scarf, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's a Sumptuous Scarf. That has the power to boost normal type moves. Okay, Everstone that prevents evolving. Cleanse Tag, and I need to be. Uh, okay, yeah, don't need that. Bug type moves doesn't matter to me. Flying type moves, of course, Shawnee needs that, so let's give that to Shawnee. Uh, Shed Shell. Switch out a battle without fail, not too big of a deal. Increases the special attack base points of a single Pokemon. Speed, defense, HP, absorb bulb. Let's see, it boosts special attack if the holder is hit with a water type attack. It can only be used once. Hmm. Shell bell. Okay, this could be good. Um, I might wanna put this on somebody. Maybe like Smokey. Extends the duration of multi-turn attacks such as bind and wrap. Interesting. Ground-type moves, 
Let's go ahead and put this on Tom. This is soft sand. And we have stones, which obviously are not really compatible. Sunstone, same thing. Focus sash. Yeah, this will disappear after we use it. There's a love suite as well. Super repel, muscle band, power of physical moves. I mean, everybody has an item now, so I'm just trying to see if there's anything that's better than what we've chosen. Steel type moves. Is that better than flying? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, we could consider it, but I don't think that's you know exactly what we should do. Hmm. So I think that's about all I want to use here, from what I see. Yeah. So with all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and use this candy real quick, um, especially on Tom, since he's such a lower level. Uh, I might just use all of them on Tom, because I really want him to catch up, because I might need his ground type moves. So let's go ahead and do that. 2,000 experience still wasn't too much. Uh, we also have these S version. Let's go ahead and use that on Tom, all three of them. And then he's almost there, but that's all we have for right now. That's fine, as we go on more Dynamax raids and stuff, we'll get more of that. Uh, hey, this is the final gym. Yes, it is. Let's double check our Pokemon all healed. Wrong button, Pokemon. Yes, so I think everything is as good as it's gonna get. Let's go and battle Raihan. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, and there's a bunch of people here to cheer us on or watch us totally fail. Some Pokemon aren't affected by weather changes, right? Or I guess I could have my Pokemon change the weather right back. Yep, you could. Raihan is just too strong. Does anyone stand a chance? I mean, I guess Leon would. Uh, I use Steel-type Pokemon. They can ignore sandstorms completely, but I still can't beat Raihan. Wonder why not. Grass-types do tend to be easily influenced by changes in weather. So there seems to be a lot of weather changes in this fight. Sorry, only authorized personnel are allowed to take lift down to the power plant. Hey Zebra, show us what you can do, I'll try. Um, oh, it's the ball guy. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher, oh yeah, yes, right, he already gave me it. Never mind. Wish he would give me something else. <laughs> but he won't. Uh, I can't wait, Raihan's match is coming up. Oh, and it's our, our, it's our biggest fan. All that's left is the final gym. You can do it, Challenger Zebra. I'll try. <laughs> the long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the dragon user, Raihan? I am as ready as I'm going to be. So we're switching into our outfit. That uniform you wear is a symbol of all of your victories. I feel your determination. Now head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. What? Uh-oh, we're going to the vault? Why do we gotta go here? I guess we'll find out. Oh boy, I hope this turns out okay. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do if it doesn't. We'll just have to train up some more. Oh, there he is. You are very tall. Let's see, how many gym challengers are left, huh? Not even 10, huh? All right then. Zebra, time to explain the Great Raihan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. So is it double battles or no? I'm a little confused. Maybe it's a 1v1 and then a double battle? Yep, that's me, Sebastian. Lita Raihan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. All right, well, we're going to get Sebastian to start things off. He's got a cool pose going on. Pelipper and Sligu. Oh, so it's a one versus one trainer, but it's a double battle. So, okay, I understand a little bit more. So I don't know what Sligu is, but I know that the Pelipper is gonna be a water type. A water flying. Oh, it's gonna drizzle. Started the rain. So that's gonna sort of put out Dot a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is switch Dot to uh, Jazzy. And Smokey, we're going to immediately go ahead and do Toxic against the Sligu, because I just don't know what Sligu is and we'll see how that goes. 
because Jazzy will be able to get rid of that Pelipper real easy. This monkey is toxic. And it poisoned you, so you're not really a poison type. The poison Sligu is barely poison. Pelipper used Tailwind. Okay, so there's like a lot of things going on. Oh, you're the dragon type. Oh, oh no, that looked painful. I'm so sorry, J Smokey. Okay, so Jazzy's waiting for your directions. What I want you to do then is to spark Pelipper. And we do have that fairy type move, so that'll be good for Jazzy against Dragon type Pokemon. But in the meantime, you're poisoned. Let's do Venoshock against you. So Spark should be enough to get a one hit takedown, and it is. Super effective. Who knows what you'll throw out next. But in the meantime, we get experience. And so we use Dragon Pulse again against Smokey. Poor, poor guy. What level are these Pokemon we're going against, by the way? 45, so we still have like a lead on them. Oh, and that healed us. Oh yeah, because we have the Shell Bell. Nice. So Jazzy, I want you to go ahead and do Play Rough on Sligu. And same thing with Smokey, go ahead and do Venoshock again. Earn your health back up a little bit. Oh, ho, 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 that is so good! That Jazzy is gonna save us from everything here. Okay. And as a level up for both Jazzy and Tom, Tom is finally level 50, which means every member on our team is over level 50. Doubles, there's a lot to think about with them. Makes them difficult, but fun too. All right, well we won that without too much damage being taken. We might have to heal Smokey at some point. I can see why you've managed to make it this far. The only tough part is that we have to keep our Pokemon healed between rounds. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camila. Okay. Oh, I, okay, I, I have a second. Perfect, I, I thought that it was still like in cutscene mode. This is ap actually excellent. So I can, right now, use a super potion on Smokey and then use a normal potion on him and then do another one. Got it, perfect. Everybody's healed. Let's battle ya. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each of your opponent's Pokemon play. Well, you're one, your Pokemon are gonna play the role of losing against Gym Trainer Camila. Okay, let's do it. Ninetales and Turtonator. I've never seen Turtonator before. That's a new one for me, gotta be honest. Ninetales Drought. So I think that we're gonna switch Dot into uh, Tom. So, same thing, I'm so sorry Dot, you've been out and then you just get taken away. Uh, let's start with this, and then Smokey, go ahead and use Toxic on Tortinator. Tor Tor it's like a very spiky Pokemon thing. <laughs> what do you know, it's a Pokemon. Oh, you're turning around. <laughs> He's got like this nice like action pose. Set a shell trap. Huh. Well, there's that. Badly poisoned. Willow's Wisp, what does this do again? It does damage, that's for sure. Ah. Uh. Oh, burned him, not good. The Shell Trap didn't work, okay, that's good. And now you're poisoned, you're taking some poison damage. So we've got lots going on here. So first off, let's do Liquidation against Ninetales. And then Smokey, you can do the Venoshock against Tortinator. Tur 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 Tortinator, that's what I'm just gonna call you from now on. Just like the town of Baloney. Okay, and that healed you, oh, I'm so glad. That's such a good little thing. And Liquidation against you might even be a one hit takedown. Not quite, I don't think the level difference is large enough. Um, so you're gonna do another one of these. What will it be this time, is it poison? No, it's burn. Which you think it wouldn't affect Tom being a water type, but I guess it does. You're doing Rock Tomb against Smokey, which I don't think will be very effective. No, it doesn't really matter, okay. Oh, he healed through sheer determination. Thank you, Smokey. I appreciate it. So you took a lot of poison damage there. Um, we're taking a little bit of burn. So, let's figure this out. First off, uh, we're going to do, I think we'll just do World, no, we, we gotta do Liquidation. 
Then I could also just do Rock Tomb. Let's try Rock Tomb again, dude. That's also super effective. Um, and then Smoky. We'll just do. Yeah, we'll do Acid Spray. Because we don't need much damage on you, obviously. Uh, so let's try this out. This should get rid of both of you. And then we'll just have to see what you get next. Got it? And. What's happening after that? Level 55 for Biggie, level 51 for Smokey. Okay. See you, Tortinator. So I'm guessing he probably she probably has two more Pokemon left. We'll have to wait and see that for sure. No, that was it. Okay, awesome. Great. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. I guess so. Isn't that quite the pickle? Fantastic, I can see those seven badges you have were well earned. Thank you. We have one more trainer over this way. Let's go for it. You've made it to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Aria. Okay, okay, I can walk up to you. I always forget, <laughs> I'm just like waiting for it to start. Uh. So, let's just go ahead and make extra sure everything turns out fine here. We're gonna put a burn heal on you. And then we're also going to use very basic, you know, potion to heal you up like that. And then same thing for Tom. Got it. Okay, a double battle. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. A little bit of both, sort of intertwines. So this is gym trainer Aria. And she seems as ready to go as I am. Obama Snow and Hakamo O. I like the rhyming. I don't think I've gone against either of these people, but I think that will be fine against the one. They're jumping up and down instead of like wiggling, so I think they're happy. So yeah, they're starting to hail now, but I think that'll be fine. So Dot, go ahead and do Flame Charge. Actually, maybe we should just do Pyro Ball. Let's just do Pyro Ball on, and I don't Smokey, <laughs> don't do that. And then Smokey, go ahead and do the uh, Toxic on Hakama-O. I've never seen this Pokemon before, so I really have no clue what typing it is. And that's a one hit takedown, absolutely excellent. Down you go. That'll give us some experience. More importantly, Smokey can use Toxic. So with that out of the way, we'll be able to beat up on you a little bit more next round. Noble Roar, which will that even do any damage? No. Okay, that's fine, as long as it's not doing damage. Dot's attack fell, special attack fell, buffeted by the hail. The hail is gonna be a bit of a problem. But we, we're sort of used to it. The last couple episodes we've dealt with a lot of hail. And do you have any more Pokemon? I guess not, this is your last one. So we are going to try to use Revenge. I don't know how that'll work here. I haven't really tried this move yet, so we'll try it now and see how it goes. So Venoshock it is. And that got rid of you, super quick, a critical hit. That was amazing, so we don't even have to try revenge just yet. Okay, great. And that'll be healing him up, that is amazing. All right, so there we go, we've defeated all three of them without too much of an issue. Level 54 wants to learn Double Edge. What is Double Edge? That's a normal type move. A reckless life-risking tackle in which the user rushes the target. This also damages the user quite a lot. I'm gonna take a pass on that just because I really don't need it. We have already very hard hitting things for Dot that don't damage her. Cooperation between trainers and their Pokemon just bring out their strength even more. Indeed they do. So we learned a couple of things there about you know dual battling. Uh, I am honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. Nice one, Zebra, you've completed my gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned, your, your, earned the right to face me yourself. Okay, I'm very nervous about this, but everybody should be good. I don't think anybody has any status ailments. Dot has taken a very slight amount of damage that I guess I'll deal with now. Um, okay, potion, use this item on Dot, and there we go. Okay, let's go. Oh man, I really hope this turns out well. I think Jazzy is gonna be my secret weapon with this fairy type move. We'll have to wait and see.
Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. Wow. But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promise in. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how, how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym Leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather, he also seeks two on two battles. Oh man, so we're doing more of that. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. So we're doing two on two. Can only one of them be Dynamax though? Huh. Raihan, you are challenged by Gym Leader Raihan. And he sent out Gigalith and Flygon. Whoa. Now I think Flygon is a Dragon type. I think this is where I might double check it just to be sure because I could get myself into a lot of trouble if I don't know. Um, so apparently he's a Ground type. I don't know if Google's right with that one. Um, no, he's a Ground Dragon. Okay. Let the winds blow. Stream forward, Sandstorm. I like this phone floating around. That was waiting for your direction. So before we do too much more, there's also Gigalith. Uh, and that's just a rock type. So what we can do here is um, switch Pokemon. <laughs> so we're gonna switch to Jazzy, which I know he might be a little bit weak to the Sandstorm, so I'm a tad bit worried about that. But also Smokey, I want you to switch to Tom, because he can use a water type move um, against the one dude. And also we could use ground type moves against that guy as well. Couple of options, we could have also used fighting from, I guess we could have just done that with Dot. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how this works. That's sort of the tough thing about battles, or do double battles, so you have to switch things out pretty often like this. Especially with dragon type battle, like anything could happen here. Breaking swipe, ooh. That did some decent damage to both of them. A critical hit on Jazzy. Yikes. And we'll lower his attack, and lower Tom's attack. And you'll have to use Stealth Rock. Okay, that shouldn't be too big of a deal as long as we don't move, ever. <laughs> Um, buffeted by the sandstorm. So this is where things can get really bad. But I'm gonna use Play Rough on Flygon. And then Tom, I'm gonna use either Dig, which is 80 damage. The highest thing we have is Liquidation. We're gonna use that on Gigalith. And that's enough to get rid of half of your health. That's pretty nice. Breaking Swipe. Yikes, again. When is Tom gonna be able to attack? Because our attack is falling now. Liquidation. Oh, it does good, but not enough. That's really scary. Body press. Oh, and that did some work. That was super effective. I might have to switch Tom out for a uh, dot. Let's fight and have you just go against Flygon. And then you will switch to dot again. Luckily, she'll have full health. I know that rock types are super effective against fire, so it's like, it's a really weird situation and it might work out awfully, but I just have to try. Wait, what happened there? Something, I guess it was just a storm. Must have just hurt. Oh no, that's bad. So maybe not the best decision. This is why we have to pay attention a lot to it. It just, it's hard to make those decisions on the fly. Level 52 for Smokey though. Use body press, don't use it against Dot. Of course he did. I feel like they shouldn't have the chance to if she just got out, but I mean, okay. Now we get to try this. I'll probably use the fairy type move because I don't want to use electric against it. Sandaconda. What in the world is this thing? All right, um. Sandaconda is a ground type, just a ground type. So if we look at that, just making extra sure, ground type is weak to water, grass, and ice. Okay, so we might have to switch Tom back out. Um, let's do that then. Tom is here, he's a little low on health though. I feel like I should switch to maybe, like the good thing is that like Biggie wouldn't be weak to anything in this situation, so maybe we should just do that. The neutrality of it might work out. Um, and for you, we need to revenge on Gigalith and see how that works out. It might not work out at all. Uh, cause he takes some damage, cause pointed stones, because of the pointed, that's, okay, I see. That was from the one trap. Oh my gosh, poor Biggie. Oh no. Oh, poor Biggie, you're kidding me, that's not even fair! Super effective, why is it super effective? 
I don't know. <laughs> There's too many types of this game. Oh my gosh. There we go, try that out. It did some good work, but not enough. Oh, I'm in such big trouble here. So let's get like Smokey back out. Such big trouble. Because, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna work because they're both ground types. So I think that I'm gonna use with you, we're going to do a max revive. Oh, this is so tough on Biggie. Really not what I wanted to do here, but we'll get revenge on Gigalith again. It's my best bet. Sandaconda used Glare, which is like, that sort of stinks, but it could be way worse. And then Gigalith uses Body Press, as long as it, okay. Doing it on Smokey, unfortunately. But that still should mean that Dad should be able to do revenge. And maybe enough to take you out. Yes, okay, so Gigalith being gone is a big advantage. That means that the two Pokemon he has on the field are the two remaining. So remember, Sandaconda is a ground type. Ground is weak to water, grass, and ice. So as long as we get Tom back out, Tom just leveled up. And Jazzy did too. And the sandstorm ended, which makes this significantly easier. Break through the paralysis just for me? Ah, oh, you're such a nice, nice, nice skunk. Oh, what in the world is this thing? Dar Daruladon. Okay. Duraludon. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, and just making sure, I know, I'm sorry, but I just, this is really tough. And this is another dragon type. So, first off, we are going to switch Jazzy out. Not Jazzy Smokey, into Jazzy, but maybe I should heal first. Okay, so bag. We are going to use a Hyper Potion. I think I'm gonna use one on Dot. And then, what is ground week two again? Oh yeah, I know. Uh, uh, I'm very nervous about all this. Uh, switch, or heal, I don't know which one we just told. I don't know, we'll just heal Tom. Okay, so a hyper potion, that was for Jazzy. No, Tom. And then, okay, yeah, there we go, Dot. Oh, it's so nerve wracking. So what are you doing now? Bring the storm, my partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. This is when we can do, oh man, are you gigamaxing the Trilludodon? I think you are. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It's like a skyscraper. Huh, that's different. So I think I, I gotta get Jazzy out, we gotta Dynamax him. Oh man. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dot! In the meantime, we need to switch Dot out anyways. But there's a lot we gotta do here. Sandstorm picked up. Uh, the winds rise again. Steam, stream forward, Sandstorm. Great. Use Earth Power, and you're gonna use that on Dot. Well, Dot's out here. That was a waste of a Hyper Potion. Super effective. Okay. So. Uh, we're going to choose, I wanna choose Jazzy, but I didn't heal him because I got it confused. So let's get Tom out here and we'll have him work on the Sandaconda or whatever it was. I think that was what it was called, something like that. Um, I know he's gonna get, because of the pointed, storm, pointed stones. So, who am I fighting as right now? This is Smokey, so we're gonna switch Smokey out. Well, no, we're not, we're gonna use our bag to heal Jazzy and then get him out because we really need to him not to be at a disadvantage of he's gonna be the Dynamax one. And now Tom is out, we can use Liquidation against Sandaconda. There we go. Max Knuckle. Oh no, whoa, oh no Tom. Hold on tight buddy. It's super effective and everything. Okay, Liquidation on him, go for it. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. Super effective, thank you, thank you. They use Glare, which honestly I'm not too worried about. Then we're switching to Jazzy. Buffeted by the Sandstorm. Okay, so, first off, Pokemon. Switch to Jazzy and hope that he can just hold on for long enough. Tom is waiting your directions. You are going to hit Liquidation on the Sandaconda again, just to get him out of here. I just hope the Sandaconda doesn't attack Jazzy because that'll be such a bad situation if it does. Maybe I should have waited it out just for another moment. 
We'll have to see who attacks first. Come on, okay, they use protect. That's not what I was expecting, but okay, that's fine. Max Knuckle, who's Max Knuckle gonna be against? Tom, no! I know you're, you're almost knocked out, but it's okay, we can make this work. Everybody's attack is rising, but his Dynamax is about to end. So that means I can take the advantage for my Dynamax. Yes, okay, this is our chance right now. So Jazzy, you know what to do, it's Dynamax time. Max Starfall on Darula Lodududan. And fight Liquidation on Sanaconda. Okay. Let's try this out. Go for it, buddy. He's such a good big pup. All right, buddy. Nobody can stop you now. You even heal yourself up a little bit. Well, actually, you don't. You just switch to a different amount of health. That's what was happening there. Okay, so Max Starfall. Let's see what this does. It did a good chunk of damage there. Not all the way, but it got a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Miss World around the battlefield. Iron Head. Oh, no, Tom, come on, I just needed him not to get taken out. Why? Ah. All right, we might as well use something else then. I don't know what that might be. I mean, I guess my best bet is just Biggie. Because Ground is good against fire, electric, poison, rock, and steel. Biggie's not any of those, he's dark. Okay, so let's see how this goes. He's gonna immediately get hurt by the stones. Uh, we're gonna do Max Starfall again on Duraludon. Duraludon, I, I wanna pronounce it right once. Um, Night Slash on Sandicana, we just need to get that done. Come on. But he just uses Protect because he's a scary pants. Okay, Jazzy, do what you gotta do. Hopefully this one will be like a critical or something. It wasn't really, but well, that's okay. One more major hit will knock him out. Stone Edge, Oh no! Don't do that! The Sandstorm has subsided though, that's great. So, we get the fight again. And then fight Night Slash on Sandaconda. Come on, they're both so low. We get to do the Max Starfall first, which is fantastic, and that should be enough to knock you down. Get out of here. See ya. And one more, this little sand snake. We're gonna get him. A level up for Biggie, he's level 56 now. And you're gonna use Night Slash against him. Awesome. We've won. Can't believe it. Sand count of sand pick goes out, but that's fine. All right, we've done it. We've defeated the gym leader, the dragon gym leader out of all of them. Man, oh man. I think he didn't have any other Pokemon left, right? I hope not. Good job, Jazzy. <laughs> you defeated gym leader Ryan, yeah! I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. <laughs> All right, well, we got gotcha. you. Can't believe it, that was so tough. In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seemed I'd, I'd grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory, the Dragon Badge. Well, thank you very much. So there it is, the Dragon Badge. Of course, it's the biggest badge of all, or always the biggest part of the badge, you know. Uh, you can now catch Pokemon of any level. You collected all of the gym badges from the Gower region. Now, win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. Oh, there's more? We don't just go to Leon? You must. You owe that much, at least, for beating us in the battle here today. So what is that about? I have no clue. But anyways, we did. You've collected all of the gym badges. At last, it is time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you do all do in battle. Hey, Zebra! Sorry to hold you up, but there was something I forgot. 
First off, as a sign of my respect here, TM99, it contains the move Breaking Swipe. So there it is, TM99, Breaking Swipe. What will that be? Probably a dragon type move. Uh, the user swings its tough tail wi wildly and, it, and attacks po opposing Pokemon. This also lowers their attack stats. And secondly, here's a dragon type gym uniform, the mark of true strength. Cool. Number 17, Challenger Zebra. You've completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. Raihan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna beat you and Zebra and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Zebra. Let's have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. I was thinking the same exact thing. Maybe that's something we can get started with next episode. Uh, you can win the gym challenge. You gotta keep winning, Challenger Zebra. I don't know what we do next exactly. I was watching on the telly. What a, what a match. Uh, great job. That was a good match. Thanks. Maybe an item that can extend weather effects. <laughs> okay, she's still thinking about it. Sorry, only authorized pro. Yeah, I know, I know. And what about you? Raihan Daruladon is steel type too. What am I doing wrong? Uh, you beat Raihan just like Leon? Yep, just like Leon. Okay, so what is going on now? Oh, they're back. Hey there, Zebra. You gave Raihan a good thrashing and that means you've completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there are some things we should talk over. So what's going on next? That light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like Darkest Day, where it said the, gi the giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Gower region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As, as you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing, or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dearest, my lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. Aw, that's that's nice, that's really sweet. Look at her, she's officially a professor now. Wait, did, did Gran have a spare? Oh no, I think that might just be the clothes under her, her, her uh, lab coat. Professor Sonia, yeah. The two heroes that protected the Galar region from the darkest day. And the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. Your hop could be the, the one, you or hop, could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't wanna miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Windon. Go on, head to the station, or you'll miss your train. All right, we'll definitely do that at some point. You did it, you got the dragon badge, I have indeed. Um, the station's near Route 7, remember? Now off with you, Gym Challenger. Uh, there are things only young people like you can do, and there are other things that should be left to the adults. Everyone has their own role. So before we do that, I do wanna take a look at the map. Where is, like, so we'd go to the train station, um, and then that would bring us up to Windon, which is where? That's Windon. So I guess it would bring us to Route 10 and we would do stuff there. I don't think that's quite what I wanna do at the moment. I think next episode, we're gonna go back to the wild area and see what else I can explore and find because there's still lots of areas to do so with. So maybe down here at South Lake, uh, Millock and Giant Seat, and then up here is the Watchtower Ruins. Lots of cool stuff to explore, but with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Dragon, so now you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.